Hey, how's it going everybody? So then we'll be doing a deck profile for my Evil Swarm deck. Um, it's a pretty fun deck. Uh, it's a lot older, but if you are trying to build this deck, hopefully this profile can give you an idea on how to build it. And if it does, uh, go ahead and leave a like, uh, comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, and if you're new, consider subscribing. But uh, let's go ahead and get right into the list. Um, I do run the 3 Rescue Rabbit. I feel like if this resolves, um, it's just a free rank 4. Um, and I just really um, like it. And if you're new and you're not too sure what this card does, uh, basically um, you can banish it. Special Summon 2 level 4 or lower normal monsters from your deck with the same name. So your targets would be, for this specific deck, um, 2 Evil Swarm Heliotrope. Or 3, sorry. Um, and then three Evil Swarm Catastor. Uh, this is another card you want to see as often as possible with another Evil Swarm in your hand because when it's normal summon you get an additional normal summon of an Evil Swarm. Um, and then the second best Evil Swarm in the deck in my opinion is the Evil Swarm Kirkion. If your graveyard is uh, pretty set up with Evil Swarm monsters uh, when he's normal summoned, you can banish one Evil Swarm monster in your graveyard, target another Evil Swarm monster, add that target to your hand, and uh, you get an additional normal summon uh, that turn. The effect resolves. Three Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Um, this has a pretty cool effect when a card effect is activated. You can banish uh, this card, and it returns during the next standby phase with 300 more attack. Um, so if you open up Thunderbird and maybe like a Heliotrope or something and you're not really able to go into your rank 4 plays and you need to save him for a turn, um, of course you just want to banish him and then um, if it resolves he returns during the standby phase and you can just go into your plays that way. Um, then 3, Infestation Pandemic. Um, you can search this out with Ophion. Uh, but basically what it does is all face-up Evil Swarm monsters you currently control are unaffected by other spell, tra spell and trap card effects. Um, so really nice. It helped out against infinite permanence a couple times when I was playing it at Locals. Uh, three, Alert of Darkness. Um, just for draw power. Everything's dark except for Rescue Rabbit. Uh, two, Pop Desires. Uh, again, just wanted to get um, a bit more draw power. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclone. Um, with most decks, I think you need uh, the outs like Mystic Mine or just back row in general, uh, especially for a lower tier deck like this. It really helps. And then one double or nothing, just for the Utopia double play. Three Crackdown. Uh, probably the best trap, in my opinion, uh, in this deck, besides the Solemn Brigade. Uh, but basically, you activate it by targeting a face-up monster you're putting controls, take control of that monster, and negate its effects. Also, it cannot attack. Um, two, Lost Wind. You target a special summon monster, uh, half its attack, and negate its effects permanently. And then if this card's in your graveyard, when your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, you can set this card from your graveyard but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, an older card that I'm running uh, is Save Zone. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, um, you can activate it by targeting a face-up attack position monster. Um, that monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Also, it, it cannot be destroyed by battle, um, but it cannot attack your opponent directly. And when this card leaves the field, uh, destroy that monster. Two Storming Mare Force, just to try to help get rid of big boards. Uh, when your opponent declares an attack, return all face-up monsters uh, your opponent controls back to the hand. And then the Solemn Brigade, the two strike, negate a special summon, uh, or negate an effect by paying 1500 life points. Uh, one Warning, negate a special summon, or a card that would special summon by paying 2000. Uh, and then the Solemn Judgment, negate a monster spell or trap effect by paying half your life points. And then one Infestation um, Infection. 
it lets you shuffle one Evil Swarm monster back into the deck and add a Evil Swarm monster from your deck to your hand. So pretty cool. Uh, off to the extra deck. Of course, the Utopia double. And then the Utopia to go with it. Um, Evil Swarm Nightmare. Um, he requires two level four dark monsters. And then when your opponent spells summons a monster or monsters except during the damage step, you can attach one excess material uh, from this card. Change that special summon monster or monsters to face down defense position. One Gaga Cowboy for time. Uh, one Abyss Dweller um, just to lock down graveyard decks. One Exoton Knight. One number 101. One Evil Swarm Bahamut. One uh, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Uh, two Ophion. Uh, this is kind of like the main reason I decided to play the deck. Uh, but basically, if this monster has Xyz material, your opponent can have special summon level 5 or higher monsters. And then uh, once per turn, you can detach one material to add an infestation card from your deck to your hand. Uh, one Ouroboros. And then I decided to run a couple of links, which you can replace with other X seeds uh, or whatever you feel uh, would be better in the deck. And that is uh, one Unicorn, one Borosaur Dragon, and one Apollosa. Um, Basically, I, I wanted to run the Link Monsters just in case I was able to crack down one of my opponent's um, Link Monsters and uh, just Link Climb doing it that way. Um, it never came up, unfortunately, when I was playing this on my local tournament, uh, but um, that's the reason why I did put the um, Link Monsters in the deck. But of course, like I said, you can replace it with um, any other X Seeds or anything else you want to put in but hopefully this did help you get an idea on how to build the deck and like I said in the beginning if it did uh, leave a like comment and if you're new subscribe but until next time I'll see you guys later